Uh, I'm Elizabeth Hugo. I'm a bioethicist and writer, and like the Golden Girls. All right, all right, I can pick up a cue. Picture it. That's usually when someone asks what I do. I say I'm a bioethicist. It's what's that? That you know sounds very foreign or like something we'd never deal with. But really. Everyone at some stage has had uh, has been in a position where themselves or a friend or family member have been in the hospital and had um, multiple treatment options where they've had to weigh risks and benefits and you know pick the course of treatment that was best for them or um, questions regarding research. So it's, it's something everyone's thought about in some capacity. I mean, even um, re re reproductive rights. It's I mean it's something everyone has an opinion on, and so they've thought about bioethics, whether or not they put a name on it. And so that's what I loved about using the Golden Girls as case studies in bioethics because it is accessible and people are familiar with these episodes already. Um, and even if they're not familiar with the episodes, they're familiar enough with the characters where, I think I would talk about this during the show a little bit, like if Sophia acts a certain way, you know that it's coming from an 80-year-old woman in the 1980s. This is who I am, Dorothy. Learn to live with it or medicate me. The audience is very mixed. There are uh, all ages represented. Um, a lot of young people, I mean, there were there was a table at my very first show of, I think, women in their 60s, so it was, it, I think they were like sitting around the table, I'm like, aw, just, just, and they were, you know, they were super happy to participate. For all my special friends here at the Rusty Anchor, this one's for you. Hit it, Ron. The ideal audience is probably more of someone interested in the Golden Girls who's learning about bioethics. Um, so, although really, I kind of got people across the board. Although it was more, I think there tends to be more Golden Girls fans than bioethics fans. If I were to do a survey, that would be my guess. But um, there's also people who are both. So, um, my coworker came with me to my first show. He's a big fan of both bioethics and the Golden Girls. I saw someone at my last show who I'd actually never met in real life. He's a bioethicist at uh, Einstein and um, I had no idea he was a fan and yeah, I was like, oh my God, it's the first time we're meeting in person and it's here, this is amazing. So um, so there is overlap, but yeah, I think it's, it's a good way to make bioethics more accessible to a wider audience um, and also taking these issues that are very serious, very, you know, like euthanasia and drug abuse, you know, and AIDS. So these are very serious issues and not that we should look at them in a lighthearted way all the time, but this kind of helps, you know, learn about it in a way that's more palpable. Dr. Bud, I really am sick. I have chronic fatigue syndrome. That is a real illness. You can check with the Center for Disease Control. The response has been overwhelming, over, overwhelmingly positive. I was definitely not expecting um, the Village Voice mention, or you know, that Vice would want to interview me, or just that I could have the opportunity to do it in different cities. Mm -hmm.